Hi everyone and welcome to the next tutorial in our Outfit Studio series. Like in the last video, we are going to build upon a topic that we've already covered. Way back in video number 5, we went over deleting meshes and vertices as a way of learning the Outfit Studio workflow. And we've done more deleting in the projects that involved zapping out parts of meshes to fix clipping. In this session, we are going to revisit deleting meshes and vertices to reinforce some concepts, and to prepare an outfit for a future video. Here is what we will be doing in this episode. I will be assuming that you've completed most of the tutorials up to this point, or that you already have a basic knowledge of how to use Outfit Studio. If the pace is too fast, or if you are unfamiliar with the basics, please refer back to previous videos and practice a bit more until you are ready to tackle this one. If you want to follow along, download and install the Simply for Practice mod that I made as a companion to this tutorial series. The link is in the description. There are different reasons why you might want to delete things from an outfit or accessory, and each one has some particular considerations. The three major reasons I can think of are as follows. First, you just don't want a certain mesh in your NIF. Second, you just don't want certain vertices in the mesh. And third, there are extra vertices that are not needed. Numbers 1 and 2 are personal preference choices, which is totally fine. You should always make things that you like best. But I want to talk briefly about reason number 3. Unnecessary vertices are those that are completely hidden by other vertices or meshes, or they are vertices that are in the mesh but are covered with a transparent texture and serve no discernible purpose. We've already used the zapping technique in videos number 12, 14, and 16 to get rid of vertices that are hidden, and we've talked about how that is a good thing to do because it can eliminate clipping and keep the file size down. Getting rid of transparent vertices is also good, because there's just no reason to keep them there. You can find transparent vertices in a number of outfits. I'm sure that this happens as part of the outfit creation process, and I certainly mean no disrespect to the creators who have made outfits like this. But I do believe it is best practice to clean up meshes by removing vertices that are not needed. Keeping transparent vertices just inflates the file size, and this can affect performance under certain circumstances. The example we are going to work with in this video is the original pants mesh from the Simply Clothing mod. Here you can see that these pants originally included the vertices from the foot mesh. These were probably here to help with the creation of the pants. However, they are completely extraneous and can be deleted with no untoward effects. If or when you start making your own outfits, I encourage you to take the time to delete vertices from meshes when they are not required. We are going to tackle the first reason first, which is removing a mesh from the NIF just because you don't want it there. This is easy to do, but what is harder is making sure you understand the implications of deleting meshes. Let's say that we don't like the leg band in the demo new outfit NIF. We can delete it, and we don't even need Outfit Studio for this. It can be done directly in NIF scope. Open both sizes of the new outfit NIF. Right click on the BS tri shape for the leg band, select block, and then remove branch. Click yes at the confirmation window and then use Save As to give this modified NIF a new name. I'm going to save these as New Outfit No Band underscore zero. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the Size 1 NIF. And save it as New Outfit No Band underscore one. You can also remove the leg band in Outfit Studio by selecting the mesh and hitting delete on your keyboard, 
we're going to shape delete or by right clicking and selecting delete from the menu. Alternatively, you can simply not select that mesh when you export the new NIF from Outfit Studio. But there are some things you need to think about when deleting entire meshes from your NIF. You'll need to know something about the partitions used in your NIF and in the Mods plugin, as we've discussed in video number 13 and a few others. So make sure the partition used in the mesh you want to delete is already used by another mesh in the NIF, or that you understand how the plugin file is set up and can patch the partitions if needed. Another important thing to think about is whether or not the plugin record for the outfit uses texture sets. A texture set lets you create just one NIF and use it to make different variations of the outfit by applying different texture files in the plugin. It works by telling the game to use a new texture file on mesh number X of the NIF, where X represents the list order of meshes in the NIF file. For example, our demo mod uses a texture set for the demo new outfit, and it applies a new texture to the second, the fourth, and the fifth meshes in the NIF. And note here that numbering in the NIF starts with zero for some strange reason. In our case, deleting the leg band won't matter since it is the last one on the list, so nothing bad will happen if it's not there anymore. But if you delete a mesh at the top or in the middle of the order, it's going to rearrange the mesh numbering, which in turn will break the texture set. You'll see this in the game when the outfit doesn't look right, or it just looks like a replica of another similar outfit. So again, it's all about being aware of the implications of deleting the mesh and knowing what else you might need to do in order to make things work right. The next reason for deleting vertices is because you just don't want them in the mesh. This is also easy to do in Outfit Studio, but some vertices will be easier for you to delete than others. For example, those that can be selected using Smart Select keys A and D are super easy to get rid of in a nice, clean fashion. We already did this in video number 5 to remove the pouches from the Archmage robe, but we're going to do it again, and this time we're going to do both the male and female versions and keep the resulting outfits for a future project. If you followed along with me doing the BAE extraction in video number 4, then you are ready to go. If you did not, and you want to follow along with this video, please pause here and extract both sizes of the male and female vanilla Archmage robes as shown in the mesh extraction tutorial. Once you have those meshes, load the size 0 female Archmage robe into Outfit Studio. Then mask the pouches using the Smart Select buttons as we've done before. Invert the mask, then delete the vertices to eliminate the pouches. Export the new outfit, giving it a different name from the original. I'm going to call mine Archmage Robes F underscore zero underscore no pouch and save it right here in the extraction folder. Then repeat the process to create a new pouchless version of the female size 1 NIF. And do the same for both sizes of the male Archmage robes. You'll see that I decided to save the mask for the male mesh because it was a little more complicated due to the shoulder bag. I'm going to show all of that here on screen while I pontificate about something else. If you want to delete vertices that are not easily isolated using the A and D keys, then it sometimes takes more work. It can be done, even for meshes that don't have vertices along the line where you want to delete. And you can either do some fancy work with the texture file to make unwanted parts transparent, or you can split edges on the 3D mesh to create new vertices and then align them appropriately on the mesh itself 
and on the UV map to outline parts you want to delete. I'll try to make a video later showing both of these methods, but for now, you can refer to the wiki article linked in the description if you want to try splitting edges on the 3D mesh. One last point here, just like deleting whole meshes, be aware of the partitions being used on the vertices you are deleting from the mesh. If you are removing the partition from the NIF entirely by deleting those vertices, then consider if this needs to be accounted for in the mods plugin. Before moving on to the next step, be sure you have created new pouchless versions of the size 0 and size 1 Archmage robes for both male and female. So the third reason I noted for deleting things in Outfit Studio is that the mesh has unnecessary vertices that serve no purpose. It's good to delete these, and the example we are going to use is the original pants NIF from the Simply Clothing mod. Open the Other folder of the demo mod and load in the original Simply Pants NIF. You'll probably get a window that says something like this. Generally, you should say yes here unless you are only making something for the old LE version of Skyrim. Select the pants mesh and then toggle the vertex button on. Now you can see the foot vertices that are still part of this mesh even though they are not needed. We are going to delete these. For these pants, we don't really need to do anything fancy like making and saving a mask because it's pretty easy to tell where the separation line is. Mask these foot vertices. Invert the mask. Delete the vertices, and then clear the mask to see how it turned out. In this example, I think the pants actually look better because we now have a very clean delineation of the texture at the bottom of the pants. To finish up, export the NIF with a new name, and then repeat the process for the size 1 pants. As I noted, it should be pretty straightforward to select the same vertices of this foot mesh in this example. But I definitely advocate using the saved mask method if your two meshes are not this easy. Once you have deleted the vertices for these transparent feet from the size 1 NIF and exported this with a new name, then you are ready to move to the next step. To make sure all of our NIFs look good after the deletions we made, let's go ahead and open them in NIFScope to check. Refer back to video number 6 as needed. First, double check the size 0 and size 1 new outfit NIFs where we deleted the leg band. Make sure they both look good. You don't need to check the vertex or triangle count for these since we did not delete vertices. Next. Open both sizes of the new female Archmage robes where we deleted the pouches. Make sure they look good, and I suggest checking the vertex and triangle counts here just to confirm that our deletions were identical between the two. You'll see here that this mesh has three partitions, so you'll need to expand each of those partitions to check the vertex and triangle count in each one. After checking the female versions, do the same thing to check the male versions. Lastly, let's open the pants meshes where we deleted the invisible feet. Make sure they both look good, and definitely check the vertex count for these since we didn't use the saved mask technique as a safety net. 
If any of these meshes we worked on don't look right or don't have the same vertex count, the best thing to do is probably start over and redo both sizes. It is usually safer to do that than try to fix meshes that have mismatching vertex counts. So this was a quick review of deleting meshes and vertices in Outfit Studio. As I mentioned during the exercises, it's generally easy to do in practice, and the harder part is knowing what the consequences are and knowing how to address those consequences. My advice is to always be aware of what you are removing and how it relates to what's in the plugin for that NIF. We're going to do more with the Archmage robes from this session, so we'll come back to the version that you saved during this video. Thanks for watching and hopefully working along with me, and I'll see you again soon for the next tutorial. Bye!